Hi guys, Tiffany here from Lake Life State of Mind and I am sitting in my bedroom and about to share with you my Shein bikini haul try on whatever you young amazing girls are calling it these days. I am a 38 year old almost going to be 39 next month with a 17 year old almost going to be 18 next month so i am a mom i've got the stretch marks i've got the cellulite i don't care i wear it proudly and i've decided i'm just going to bite the bullet and get in a bathing suit in front of you guys i kind of ripped the band-aid off i showed you a sports bra and some workout clothes not too long ago so i figured what's a bikini right do it all for this blog. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I know that I really needed to come on and actually show you these pieces because I had asked if anyone had purchased anything from Shein, which is what you young kids are calling it. I don't know what others. I've heard Shine. I've heard Sheen. Sheen is what the youngins are calling it, so that is what we're going to call it. Um, I had mentioned that I was interested in purchasing some bathing suits. I'm here in Florida, already in a swimming pool, have had beautiful weather, and I'm ready to buy bathing suits and try them on and wear them quite often. Plus, we have a new swimming pool. So I wanted some new suits. Decided that I would try this out. Asked if anyone had done it before. Also asked um, if anybody would be interested in seeing my review. And by far, once people saw the price of what these bathing suits cost, they were extremely interested. Altogether, I purchased six bathing suits, six bikinis, and I spent $68 for all of it. Yes, $68. Um, I can't even do that at Target if I wanted to, or Walmart. Um, I normally do buy my bathing suits from Target. I normally do like to try on my bathing suits, but recently I had been getting some things from Amazon. It worked out for me, so I figured I might as well just try this and see how it worked out. I was told quite a few different things. I had put it out, like I mentioned on social media. I had heard that shipping does take a long time because this is international shipping. But I am pleased to say that I purchased all these suits on February 20th and today is March 1st and I received them on Friday here at my house. I was able to try these all on and share them with you. So in eight days, I, was, I got it in like a week. So. Don't know if that's the normal from what I hear. It could take up to more like three, four weeks. I did not pay for rush or priority. So I think I just lucked out um, with these suits. So maybe it's the slower of a season. I have no idea. If you rush down, maybe you can get your bathing suits in a short amount of time. So six suits, like I mentioned, I'm gonna just give you my sizes so you know for reference here, I am a very petite girl. I am five feet tall. I weigh about 110 pounds. I haven't gone on the scale today, but I fluctuate. Sometimes I'm a little less, sometimes a little more, but that's where I'm at. Um, I am a 32 double D for my chest, which cup size is roughly like what a 34 C would be. It's just my band size is so small. So 32 double D and I usually wear extra small in pretty much everything that I wear those size wise. And then I also wear or that are put into those sizes. And I also usually wear a size zero is for my size petite because I'm, I'm little. So um, when it was time to purchase these bathing suits, they come, every suit that I tried was small, medium, or large. So I only had the three sizes to pick from and I only could pick one size for the top and the bottom, which did really scare me to death because I will say that I am bigger in the chest, but my band size is really small. So it's hard for me to find a top that covers, but then also is tight enough that it's not like falling off around the band. So I opted to go with small for every single one of these suits. And I will show you, you'll see me walking and prancing around in my new swimming pool with all the suits. And I will say that I didn't think that any of them were like a complete bust. Worst case scenario, there were a couple that I was like, eh, they might be a little too cheeky for me. 
but for my own swimming pool in my backyard, they're definitely something that I can just wear and hang out in. So I will say I was definitely pleased with all of the suits, which is awesome because for $68, even if they just last me for this season, I'm happy with that. So without further ado, let's get started with the try on. All right, so here we go. This is bathing suit number one, and this is a cool tie-dye effect. It comes in two colors. There was one that had like a pink, purple, and blue, and then this one that had kind of the teal and the darker blue. This is the bottom. It is high-waisted, so it came like right below my belly button for this one. Definitely um, full or more full coverage on the back. So it was very good. I felt very comfortable in this one. This is double lined here. So it is a double lined material. This kind of reminds me of like seamless underwear if you've ever tried it before. It's that kind of um, material and just the way that it sits. So cute, definitely fit well does come up a little bit, but I would say I do have a pretty darn big tush and this seemed to cover a lot of it. So I loved it, love the color. The top, super, super adorable. So again, I'm a little bit fuller chested. This top here had the cross right here. It did kind of do one of these things a little bit on me because again, I was trying to fit what I could in there, but it didn't, I wasn't ever feeling like anything was gonna fall out. So that was the positive. It is got down here, I'll show you like this band and it's full in the back, as you can see from the video as well. I'm gonna show it to you. There was quite a bit of coverage. I mean, really in the back, you're not seeing too much of your body. Again, I'm short, I know I have a shorter torso, but it definitely covered quite a bit. I did also like that it had that extra little layer down here too. So between the high-waisted bottom and this band here, I definitely felt comfortable and I think this would be a good suit for someone who's not really into bikinis, bikini showing too much, but does want to show some skin. The color is amazing, love the color. The straps are adjustable and there is some padding inside both of the cups. Definitely love this one. I think this one is a keeper for sure. I would wear this one outside of my house, definitely. Good one. Now we're on to bathing suit number two. I love this suit. I actually have already worn this one. I received my bathing suits on Friday. As I was heading out to go to a girls weekend that was at a resort, um, and this was the bathing suit. I literally just brought the bag of uh, bathing suits with me and tried them on in my room. And this was the one that I liked the most. Um, not the most, but the one that I just thought the color was like, I don't know. I'm a Florida girl. I have not really worn something like hot pink like this, but I thought, why not? I'm excited for the sun, excited for suntan. So I was very excited for this one. I want you to, sh I want to show you too the fact that I have worn this and I've actually already washed it and it washed perfectly fine. So I can say from experience that it fit well, nothing fell out and it washed well too. I washed it in the gentle cycle and I line dried it. I never put my actual bathing suits in the um, dryer. So just heads up on that. This is again, the same double line material, the same as like those seamless underwear, like I was saying to you earlier on the last swimsuit. Definitely high waisted again. So this one came up to like right below my belly button. And I would say pretty much the same coverage as the last bathing suit on the back side. Definitely you could see it is a little bit cheeky. Um, so if you want like a full coverage, this is gonna be more like a mid coverage bottom, but super cute on. The top, 
The top was my favorite and I really liked it because of the fact that the back is super strappy. And I love these kind of tops that have where you can tie on your own because again, remember I told you I have that issue where my cup size is a lot bigger but then my back, the band, is usually too big. So I can probably could have afforded to go to a medium in the top. However, I'm not sure that the medium would have worked in the bottom. So that's why I stuck with the small. But I love this. This one is definitely strappy, definitely more revealing as you could see from the video. So it does though have that same band down here similar to the first bikini. So you have that extra piece down there plus the high-waisted bottom. So there is some coverage in the stomach midriff area if that's kind of your spot that you're worried about. The back super strappy and I don't know that I'll be able to show you this but you could see it from the video that I had tried on ties here I will say that the strings were a little bit longer than I would have liked could be because of my size um if you're um a little bit bigger possibly as far as like bigger like your back is longer your torso is a little bit bigger the strings might not be as um long for you but it's very hard for me to show you this but it's so cute strappy it's cut two layers of um, straps on the side here padded both padded um, definitely not as much support on the top but not the worst so I would say compared to the last bathing suit a little bit more revealing and a little less coverage the top is definitely not full coverage and the bottom the butt area definitely shows a little bit keep this one though I kept this one one of my faves We're moving on to the third suit. I had been showing you these bags. Those other two suits are out of them. All of your bathing suits come inside these bags. These are really cute because you can keep them with you if you're going away. These are wet bags that you could use to put your wet bathing suit inside of. So keep these if that's something that you need. I got some in the dollar section at Target a couple years ago for wet bags, so that's what I use. All right, so this one, number three, is a polka dotted suit, and it comes in a couple different colors. The last pink one, by the way, also came in black. This um, blue one here also came in black background with white polka dots and white background with black polka dots, and I think maybe something else, but I went with the blue because I usually tend to go for blue type teal things that's my normal go-to um plus my instagram followers helped me decide on this and i like the blue i will say that this one has the most coverage out of all the bathing suits that i tried on the bottom definitely so this is not like the other swimsuits that were like that seamless underwear this actually has like a band inside of it here and an actual seam i felt like this held me in the most out of everything it also has a wider side here so it's definitely more of a full coverage in the back it does kind of come a little out but honestly this gives you really good coverage and holds you in way better than those other two that i just showed so this is the bottom super cute definitely again banded more coverage the top also a lot of really good coverage on this so i love this top because of this little crisscross effect that it has here if i can get it for you there we go so definitely covered me a lot more even with this being a size small the cups were so much larger on this so it actually comes apart here in the front and this whole piece flips over to the side and you can tie it up and do it to however tight you want to. So I was able to make it pretty tight so I got more coverage in the chest area. Um, also, the back of this was very similar to the first one, not strappy at all. It's almost like a, I mean, really thick in the back. So 
you only have this much really again i'm short i know but your midriff and the back you have quite a bit of coverage it's definitely longer on the top and then with the longer bigger bottoms you're getting quite a bit of coverage which you'll see from the video i love the color again it doesn't have to be this blue and white polka dot it does come in other colors but super cute adjustable straps so you can make it longer if you need to and padding this has the most padding so far out of the two suits um, it actually has a triangle padding inside of it that covers more the other two just had like little circular pads inside of it so i loved this one this one is definitely one that i could see you out by the pool with your kids with um, and feeling comfortable and definitely confident in love this one a good pick All right, so we are opening up another bag here, and this bathing suit is also polka dotted. I think they call it Dalmatian. I'll have to look again. I'm pretty sure it's Dalmatian now I'm saying it out loud. I got this in the lavender and white. This also comes in black and white as well. I was debating between that, but I am so happy I picked the lavender because now that I'm tan from this weekend, this color looks so good on. Love it. This bottom is only double lined, so this is very similar to the first and second bathing suit, not the last one. It doesn't actually have a sewn band. So that was something that I did struggle with a bit with the other swimsuits that were like this. All the way around, both sides were the same material. For this one, it's white underneath. So I noticed that when I was putting this on, the band did kind of bend down and you could see the white every once in a while popping through. So I felt like I was adjusting it. I even had to do that in the video as well. But it is what it is. Still super cute, you can fix it. And if you're sitting in the pool and just lounging out, it's not the worst thing. But I, I'm doing an honest review and I want you to know that that's kind of how I felt about that. Um, this one is again, kind of high-waisted, but it definitely comes down a little bit lower. If you could see, this is me holding it straight. It does come down below your belly button a little bit more than some of the other ones, but still pretty thick on the side. A little bit cheekier than some, but still moderate to, I would say, full coverage for the bottom. The top is adorable. So this top kind of reminds me, it's like an, like an athletic type top for me, or I'd like an athletic look is I guess what I'm going for. Almost like a sports bra it reminds me of. So it's got pretty thick straps here. What I think is super cute is this front, how it has a V inside. This is a metal piece that's in here and you can kind of like press it and adjust it if need be. So that was super cute. Definitely plunges a little bit, a little bit sexier. Definitely, although you get more coverage and tightness in the back, you do see a little bit in the front, but it is swimsuit season. So if you got it, flaunt it, like my grandma would say. Um, I really liked it. At first, I wasn't sure when I tried it on um, at the uh, resort that I was at this weekend, but I tried it on again today. I really got to play with this V thing in the center and it's super cute. I'm in love with the color. I think the color complements me. If you're like an olive complexion or you tan well, this looks really good with the tan. Also, just so you know, padding inside of this, it's got the circular one similar to um, the first couple ones I showed you, not like the last one that I showed you that had the triangles. So kind of have to play with that a little bit, but all in all, I thought this was a really cute suit um, and I like it a lot. All right, so here we go. We are on our fifth of six bathing suits right now. And this bathing suit here comes in a coral color. It also comes in blue and it might come in others, but I was kind of stuck between the coral and this blue. Ultimately decided to go with this. 
From first glance online, this was a bathing suit that I thought I was going to love the best. And not to say that I don't love it the best, I love it, but it happened to be the most revealing bottom, which I wasn't expecting that. So um, high-waisted, as you could tell, extremely cheeky in the back. Um, if you see in the video, I was out in the sun, like I said, my tan line from that pink bathing suit is what you're seeing on the bottom in the video. This kind of came in like two inches on each side more than that bathing suit. Definitely sits higher. So this is like on your waist high and then your butt cheeks kind of hang out of it. This one, I thought I would be able to wear out of the house. I'm thinking this one's only gonna be one that I would wear here at my pool. Um, I just don't feel comfortable showing that much bottom out and about. Who knows if I'm maybe in a, if I ever get to go on vacation again and I don't care, maybe, but for me, not as comfortable. I do love the band. From what I saw on the picture, I actually thought that this was kind of like a crocheted material and it's not. It's just a design up on the top. I will say though that this is actually one of those um, seamed bathing suits. So it definitely holds you in more. The top too is definitely tight. I wasn't sure if it was even cutting on me properly. Um, pretty though, love it. I mean, the color is amazing. This royal blue is so pretty. The top is phenomenal. So I might even, to be honest with you, wear this with just a plain solid black bottom because I love it so much. It is this one shoulder top, so much coverage. This extra banding here has it come down quite a bit. Um, has padding inside of it, as you can see. This was so flattering, I loved it. Granted, the tan line might be a little odd because you've got one shoulder exposed and one not, but so pretty. I love, love, love the top. The bottom is just okay for me, but like I said, worst case scenario, there are all these other colors in here, black included, so I could easily just wear this with a black bottom that I'm more comfortable with and still get to at least wear one part of the suit. All right, last but not least, we have our sixth bathing suit, which is this tie-dye, white and I would say this is kind of like it's blue <laughs> I don't know like a navy blue maybe inside almost a black this is a lined or a, um there's a seam on this one so it's not like that seamless effect like some of the other ones definitely more full coverage in the back as you could see definitely thicker up on the sides very very nice and the top, the top is amazing. I love the top because you've got this tie here in the front that you can adjust to make it as sexy or as unsexy as you want it to be. So you could have it where your whole sides are hanging out and this is really exposed and let it hang loose, or you could really tie it up tight and almost make it where it's like a scrunched effect and you really aren't seeing too much skin there. So I love that. It's adjustable there in the front. I also love the back of this one. So here in the back, it's got that really thick banded back, but it has a little peak hole that comes through that just makes it so feminine and I love that. You've got two straps in addition to that, both of which are adjustable. Well, if one is, you would hope the other one is, right? And also you've got some padding. This is more of like that full coverage top. Again, if you kind of close this tight, it's more full coverage, but it's got those triangle padding inside of these, not just those little circular ones. So you definitely get coverage. That is important. I have, we're gonna talk about white bathing suits and we're gonna talk about the video that I did for you. I took the water test in this. It's almost similar to like the squat test in leggings where you squat to make sure you don't see your rear end sticking out. 
I have been wanting a white bathing suit so badly, but I actually do get in the water. And so I didn't want a bathing suit where you were gonna be able to see things through. Definitely, definitely, definitely would recommend keeping the padding inside of the top because you don't wanna see anything through that. Um, but I plunged in my pool, as you could see, got myself all wet, all threw water on myself, and I'm happy to report that you don't see anything in the suit. And I'm so excited about that because like I said, I have been waiting a very, very long time to have a white swimsuit that you don't see through. And this actually was one of them. So I was super excited. I would call that a success for sure. So my overall review of Shein, I have to say, all of these bathing suits, I will link them for you. They were 12 or $13 for the bathing suit. Then because I was a first time customer, I ended up getting 15% off. Plus the cost was more than the um, amount needed for free shipping. So some of these suits ended up being $10.80. Others were like $11.30 and I did not pay for shipping. They arrived at my house in um, less, like a week. It was a week, it was amazing. I know that is not the norm from what I hear, but for me, they came in less than the week with the regular free shipping. So I was super excited about that. Um, I was happy with the quality. Granted, are they your extremely expensive suits? No, but even if I just use them for this season, which I feel like I will definitely get more use out of them than just this season. Um, if they, I'm hoping they hold up and I will report back after I use them for a bit to let you know if I change my mind about the quality. But for now, for that amount of money, I didn't really have, honestly, these huge high expectations and I was just blown away at how well the suits fit besides the fact that you could only pick them in small, medium, or large. Some suits are available actually in an extra small. But in any event, I mean, I was really, really, really impressed. Um, I definitely say give it a try. Um, if you're a little bit timid, like I was at first, you might not want to try as many suits as myself because the sale was final for me. If something didn't fit, there wasn't any way for me to return the bathing suit. So that is something to think about. The other thing is um, that I learned and got advice from other people is definitely make sure that you are picking items that have been reviewed a lot. Most of these suits had at least a thousand reviews, if not more, and pictures of people wearing the actual suits. That way you can read the reviews, find out about sizing, if they're true to size, if they're small, and so you know what you're getting. And also just you're wanting something with five stars, four and a half stars. If you're getting something, an item that's got over a thousand reviews and you've got over four stars and are seeing pictures of people in it, you can be feel a little bit more confident knowing what you're getting. And you can see women and girls wearing the suits that could you could help see their sizing and compare it to your own. So that's definitely something that I would suggest you do as well. Look at the reviews, find items that have been reviewed quite a bit, excuse me, and um, go from there. I will definitely be ordering from them again. Um, I don't know when, but hopefully soon I'm gonna get some use out of these and I might have to purge some bathing suits because I don't have room for all of these anymore. But I hope this was helpful. I hope that you appreciated this honest review from a mom who's got stretch marks, who's got cellulite, who's, I know I'm not the worst case in the world, but I'm definitely not a 20 something year old anymore. I love you girls who are out there doing these she and bathing suits. You are phenomenal looking and your bodies are amazing. Um, but if you're looking for someone who does kind of have big thighs, bigger thighs and everything else. I hope that this was helpful. I hope it gives you confidence to want to wear a two-piece bathing suit. And um, 
I'd be interested in even working on some one pieces. So if that's something that you would wanna see, let me know in the comments below and I can think about ordering some of those next and we can try those on and see what they look like. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for coming to my first ever Shein and first ever bathing suit, haul, try on, whatever you wanna call it. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.